I just got off the phone with Carrie Williams, the union representative for Kellogg's employees at the Lancaster County plant, and he says he's happy that his members get to go back to work and can receive paychecks and benefits again. The, vo the union voted yesterday on a contract offered late last week that is a compromise on issues both sides have negotiated on during the strike that lasted more than two and a half months. The so-called transitional workers or newer hires will, according to Williams in the tentative contract, receive the same salary and benefits as legacy or longtime workers and the same cost of living increases. What won't change is work schedules. Employees will have 40-hour work weeks, five days a week, and be able to sign up for extra shifts on the weekends and before or after their scheduled shifts. Mandatory overtime might still be required, especially, William says, after this month's long work stoppage. Those who walk, worked, walked the picket line in Lancaster County are now packing up at those two plant entrances and getting set to return to work Monday, December 27th. Since walking out on the job October 5th, the final contract was a compromise for both the cereal maker and its 1,400 workers nationwide.